Hi Scorpio, welcome to this reading. This is your reading for the month of May and I'm going to pull out cards to check in what energies are coming towards you and as well as an oracle message to see what we receive as a message from the spirit guides. And these are general messages so please take only that resonance and you can leave the rest behind for the others to take as well. And those who are new to this channel, I welcome you all into the space of this reading. So let's jump in and see what's coming on your way. So in your recent past you have is the eight of cups the nine of wands and the devil and in your current energy you have is the page of swords the three of cups queen of cups and in your immediate future you have is the seven of swords six of pentacles and hanged man and your overall is the three of swords and the bottom of the deck we have is the knight of pentacles okay so in your overall energy is the three of souls um you are going from uh, or you are healing from some kind of heartbreak and you are say, seeing how well you can heal from your own heartbreak and you can move on. So you are taking care of your self-care, mostly giving time and attention and paying attention to all things that you can uplift your own energy so that you can attract abundance. So it is like uh, you are healing from a heartbreaking situation situations and you are trying to navigate into uh, for the future and in your recent past you had is the eight of cups the nine of wands as well as is the devil uh, which is uh, which says uh, that um, you are you have left something that did not work out well in your past and you did not pay attention to it you just moved on and as you came you you are also like you are not giving up into any kind of situation like uh, even though it is it it has it may have given you pain but you are not giving up into any situations you are seeing how best you can just perform and move on and you are also releasing some kind of negativity like you are trapped if you are trapped into some kind of uh, addictions or relationships or like uh, into like something a uh, negative thoughts which is bothering you and which has entrapped you you have uh, tried like you had tried your best to come out from that uh, negativity from those um, uh, energies and you just uh, want to release yourself from that uh, energy and in your recent uh, in your current uh, energies you have is the page of swords uh, the three of uh, cups and the queen of cups uh, which is like uh, you are analyzing your situations your current situations with your very logistic mind and logical and you are seeing everything that which will bring some kind of clarity so you are seeking uh, clarity at the same time you're using your logical brain uh, in order to uh, see how well you can uh, 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 how well you can take care of what is happening into the situation also you are collaborating you are having have all the feelings and collaborations so uh, you are taking care of people you are seeing you are um, uh, meeting with people and all, uh, all and like you are very um, very much focused into what you want to do uh, the queen of cups is talks about the focus and uh, you are paying attention like you are giving your best thought you are giving your paying or contemplating on your um, emotions uh, especially and what is coming out from your subconscious mind like you are totally getting inside of you to see how best you can heal in the procedure and at the same time you are taking uh, care of your thoughts as well analyzing your situations and you are moving on which is which is now leading into uh, in your immediate future which may can take place like um, seven of swords like you are um, uh, trying to come out from any kind of deceptive energies that is uh, around you or surrounding you and you want to uh, just uh, just uh, want to pay attention to all those things and you are taking uh, 
step ahead in uh, at the same time you are looking back like um what uh, what is there like you are trying to confront your own energies like uh, or like you are maybe you are uh, lying in certain areas i won't say li lying literally doesn't means like um that like uh, it is like uh, you do you are trying your best to take out the clarity like what is in with you some kind of deceptive energies is here and uh, you need to confront uh, with yourself and uh, you are like um you are taking up through five souls and you left the two souls to see what what lies uh, at your uh, back and you are also in a very um, uh, stepping out with your tip tiptoe movement you are just stepping out uh, from situations and just carrying five souls like uh, something for a change that you want but in a very sly way which is like um, I, I have no idea like what, what is the situations on this and uh, uh, you will also be into the energy of uh receive and giving kind of energy like how much any uh, how much of your energies you will be um you will be investing with uh, in others or uh, giving out to others and it is uh, also like a balancing like you will be balancing on certain areas mm, uh, like the scale will be balanced with fear and just and uh, maybe some of you will be in the uh, in the area of giving out charity and helping out people and um, uh, like uh, talking to people and c communicating well and uh, for some you are like a very rich person and uh, you are just uh, giving some charity to other people with passion and compassion and everything and uh, you are balancing your energies as well like how much um, how much of yourself you will be investing uh, to other people uh, you will be taking pause as well uh, to see uh, to see things in a different perspective so that uh, you are not stuck into any positions but you will be surrendering to the divine so you are literally taking um, giving everything like um, surrendering surrendering everything and seeing like how how things are you know, going on and uh, what are the things what are the different areas that you will be taking care of that um, yes and let's see what advice we uh, see from the uh, from this reading what advice like an advice card for you okay the moon mm -hmm. something is um hidden and you are trying to have uh, trying to get some clarity uh, so oh, something is uh, is not in the surface and uh, you just want to know what is that which is not in the surface so you are seeking something and uh, you are like silent in certain situations that uh, and uh, like some things are uh, something around you in your energy is um, is really bothering you and uh, which is like you are not seeing things you do not have the clarity and you are trying to see what clarity you can bring uh, so it so this is like um, uh, something that is which is not in the surface you are trying to find out what is there hidden so uh, anything hidden within you is uh, or in these situations the moon card is the uh, um, major arcana which is literally like it is your own self like uh, what is there that is something uh, you have it uh, but you are not um you are not uh, saying that you have that uh, like you are hiding something and for maybe for uh, for that reason it is like the seven of swords is also here which which is like a, a kind of a deceptive uh, tricky kind of uh, energies around you either it is like your own energy or uh, you are into that energy but this moon is like uh, you you are uh, you will be like um, seeing how what is there the illusion and um, to come out from any kind of illusion and to see uh, to have everything in clear and uh, with that which is not in the surface you are seeking for that uh, i will pull out one um, oracle uh, message from the wisdom of the oracle to see what uh, we get as the protection message for you Treasure Island. Treasure Island. 
and the protection message i would like to read the protection message especially okay nine okay the protection message for treasure island is um poverty consciousness and a sense of not enough cast a shadow on your path these ideas and core beliefs come with a high cost do you really want to proclaim yourself a victim or dis of disappointment and failed expectations are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down or is it possible that you are caught in a fear that you will lose what you have acquired so you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunities to expand you are challenged to change the way you see see the world and move from a perception of limitations to perception of abundance um, take a risk for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison of your own making open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it this is such a um, clear message for you uh, scorpio um, Yes, and it says that you need to come out from your uh, thoughts that you are trapped in and um, like to see see uh, things in a different perspective, Take, taking a pause, a purposeful pause and seeing things in a different perspective. Um, so, yeah, and uh, cut your limited beliefs, your and take care of uh, that which is you are working at it and you can um, bring abundance into your life uh, i hope this helped and that's all i have for you and i will see you in my next reading bye